In this video, I'll show you how to put markers on a map. We're going to follow this tutorial using Mapbox GLJS, so if you want to follow along, click the link in the video description. All right, let's get started. So first, we need an access token. I'm logged into Mapbox.com, so I can just go to my account page and copy my default access token. We'll need a text editor. You can use Atom or Sublime. I'm going to use Glitch and create a new project, web page type. This comes with an HTML file, so I'll just empty everything out, and I'll use this as my text editor. Next, we need a custom image, so I'll download that from the tutorial, and we need to save it in the same project folder as the index file. So let's drag it here into our Glitch project. I can see Glitch puts it in an Assets folder, so we will fix that image link later. And next, we will create the map on this web page. So this tutorial has some HTML for us. I'm going to copy all of this, paste it in the index file, and then we'll take a look. I see in the head that we are importing two Mapbox libraries. We are providing some CSS to style this map. We create an empty container with the ID map. My access token is already here because I'm logged into mapbox.com, so the system is plugging in my token to all the examples. And then we use some JavaScript to instantiate the map. We tell it, please appear in the container with the ID map. Use the Mapbox Lite V10 style center the map on this lat long, and then render it at zoom level 3. So at this point, we don't have any points for the map, but we have everything to make a map appear. So let's take a look at the live application to see if our map appears. Great, that's good. Our access token is working and everything is built correctly. So now let's add our points. Now in the tutorial, we have a GeoJSON. Let's copy that code, paste it here, and take a look. I see we have two features. Each has a lat long, a title, and a description. So we expect one marker in DC and one marker in San Francisco. Now, before these will appear on the map, we've got to add these HTML markers. In GLJS, what the HTML marker does is creates an empty div, and then we use styling, or CSS, to tell the system how they should appear. I'm gonna paste that CSS right here with the rest of our CSS. And then we'll add the markers to the map using this JavaScript. We'll put it within script after the end of the map object. Here is the map object, and here's the end of script. So I'm going to paste this JavaScript right here. Now, these markers should appear, except that uh, our image is in that folder called Assets. So I'm going to do a search here for PNG, and I see that this is where it expects the image to be, based on the code we just copied from this tutorial, and I know that the location of this image is actually going to be right here. So let's come back and I'll replace that old path with this absolute path. And now when I refresh this page, I expect these two markers should appear. Cool. All right. So a little bit extra something here. We've got pop-ups. Right now when I click here, nothing appears, but we can easily add that. I copied those two styles and I'm going to add them up here with all the rest of our CSS, and we'll attach those pop-ups to the markers. Right here, we have some code, and we want to paste it after set long lat and before add to. So I'm going to take these two lines here, and we'll paste it after long lat and before add to. So let's take a look. What I expect is when I refresh this page, I should be able to click on either one of these markers and see the title and the description. There it is, San Francisco. There it is, DC. Awesome. We are done with this tutorial, but we have a little something we can do. I've got this cool spider map style that I downloaded from the Mapbox blog. I'm going to copy the style URL, and here, where we specify a style, I'm going to change it from Mapbox Lite to the amazing spider map. I'll refresh this and I expect the map style should change and the icons should stay the same. Cool. All right. So now if I bring another icon, say any PNG file that I might want to add, and I upload that into my assets folder, I should be able to swap that new icon for the old one. And now when I refresh this page, I think we should have a different marker as well. Cool. So that's not only how to add markers to your map, that's how to customize those markers and add pop-ups. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep building.